My name is Tom Watson, and I'm very, very pleased to be a part of the ceremony dedicating this new facility. And one of the reasons is I, I have a bit of a first-hand taste of uh, what these men and women go through. Um, not because I've ever faced flames, certainly, but uh, one night I was coming home after work. It was about 3 a.m., and naturally I was dressed as Elvis. And uh, coming through the, uh, the reserve, and I witnessed a horrible car accident. So I called 911, and within minutes, Gary and his, and his team of uh, men and women were hurtling down Wayne Road, and I, I marveled at the precision with which they they just got about their business, they rescued people, saved lives, and you know, it really struck me that the dedication required to get out of bed, you know, when that beeper goes, or, or however you, you call everybody, Gary, I don't know, but it, it just must be, amazing and to, to know that that these people are, are saving our lives and, and our community and, and they, they put their own lives at risk and that's why I think a facility like this, a state-of-the-art building, is, is certainly deserved and, uh, and I'm proud that, uh, that, they, that they have it for them. So today we're going to uh, introduce the, the dignitaries that have joined us. We're going to uh, have a ribbon cutting, an unveiling, and uh, there's going to be cake, food, tours, and most importantly, the washrooms are just just through here. You're, you're, Gary said you're allowed to go upstairs or downstairs, uh, but just feel free if uh, something takes you, just to whip in right in here is the closest one. I think. So let's get underway. First of all, I'll welcome our special guests, a lady who not, not only is a wonderful politician and a representative of our community, she's also a terrific bartender, uh, MP Elizabeth May, right here. <laughs> the MLA elect Gary Holman. <laughs> BC Fire Commissioner Rebecca Denlinger. North Sandwich Acting Mayor Elsie McMurphy. <laughs> North Sandwich Councillor Connie McBride. <laughs> Special fan for Connie. <laughs> North Sandwich Councillor Councillor Celia Stock. <laughs> Central Sandwich Fire Chief Ron French. Sydney Fire Chief Jim Tweedle, <laughs> RCMP Staff Sergeant Dennis O'Gorman, <laughs> RCMP Sergeant Wayne Conley. <laughs> These outfits that the fellas have on today are especially heated, so there's uh, that's why they're sitting down. They're just inches from unconsciousness. Uh, Seacom First Nation Chief Tanya Jones, <laughs> North Sandwich Fire Department Life Members Russell Flower, George Hartshorn, Ken Hernanvo, and Steve Morton. <laughs> A North Sandwich Fire Department Honorary Member, Elma Evans. So first, uh, to get things uh, underway, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call upon uh, Elizabeth May. She's going to give us just a little address, and uh, she's always delightful. Here she is. Give it up for Elizabeth May. Thank you. I wouldn't want you to think I'm going to quit my day job. I um, attend bar at Rotary City by the Sea events. If you should want to come, Tom will be my witness that I make uh, excellent martinis. Uh, but that, uh, my day job is the one I love, which is being your member of parliament. It's a real honor to stand here on behalf of the government of Canada to mark this important community event and to pay tribute to the municipality of North Saanich for the funding and support. It's 100%, all of this renovation, 1.67 million, is entirely due to the work of North Saanich and the municipality and all of you as ratepayers. I wish I could stand here and say that there was federal money that had come in or provincial money, but it ain't the truth. It's all you, and so I'm honored to be able to participate and to mark this opening to 
uh, start by acknowledging that we are on the territories of Spanish people, the space on the property of First Nations that are part of the municipality. That we're able to be here and live together on this land. And the other thing I want to say is hats off to Gary Wilson. He's been here with Fire Station and Fire Department for more than 30, 32 years? 37 years? 37 years, Gary? 35. Okay, we finally got we've got consensus on that. 35 years. The volunteer fire department here has community engagement from uh, 32 volunteer firefighters plus professional staff you keep us safe we're enormously grateful the firefighters of canada are an extraordinary group of people they run towards the danger when all of us are running away and you're the first responders on a range of events that uh, you know we it just yeah, it makes it possible for us to feel safe in our homes uh, from the threat of fire from other events we're in your debt forever and the fact that you're able to host us for Halloween for that big bonfire, thank goodness there's a fire station nearby. Uh, the fact that you're so much part of this community, I'm just honored to be able to be here to say thank you and to celebrate this extraordinary expansion, modernization. It's really an achievement. So thanks to all of you. I'll be back up to help present some medals and awards, but I don't get to say anything, so that's a break for everybody. Uh, we had a we had a fire alarm for the first time, by the way, in the House of Commons. The noise of the fire alarm, we never heard it before. So there's a steady buzz. We look at each other and say, fire alarm? Really? So we literally, this last week, we all head out of the building, mill around outside of our own caucuses. It was very healthy for, you know, getting along with each other. And then we know where did the fire trucks pull up in front of the Senate doors. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elizabeth. You know, sometimes really, really special guests don't get uh, introduced right away. They, they get missed, and uh, that's what I did. So I'd also like to introduce North Sandwich CAO, Rob Bucket. Where's Rob? Now let's hear from the BC Fire Commissioner, Rebecca Denlinger. Hello. Um, I don't know how you did it, Gary. You have this sound effect that sounds sort of like a roaring inferno. <laughs> well done. So thanks for inviting me here today. I am aware that the District of North Sandwich, for over 40 years, the District of North Sandwich has enjoyed the services of this fire department, and this fire department has, a, is, has achieved that notable status for a variety of reasons. And it's also led by the veteran fire chief who's trying to deny that he's been here over 35 years, though today he will receive a 35-year Provincial Long Service Award medal. But let me just give you a couple examples of the proof of the kind of achievements that make the District of Morsehead Fire, fire Department notable. Um, they're sharing with us today, for instance, proof of this community's ability, of the, the district's ability to work with the fire service itself, to be able to sustain, to be able to provide the kind of updated infrastructure renewal of resources that support this wonderful group of firefighters as they stand on the line between you know, the community and the danger here every day and here, here in the District of North Sandwich. And we'll be here to, to witness the ribbon cutting as, as they show proof of their ability to strike that balance. And, and as, the, as Elizabeth pointed out, it is quite remarkable that the district is able to move in such a timely fashion into such a fashionably modern uh, facility. And then as well, further proof of that is the, the ability of the fire department chief, your ability to maintain, to strike that balance with the community and, and maintain the, the workforce and the volunteer force that you have. And we'll see a lot of evidence of that today too, as I believe six of you will be receiving long service awards. I think that's out of a group of 36. So that's a pretty astonishing turnout for you, considering that the, the first long service award commences at 20 years of service. The community can be very proud of this group. And then because I'm also... Because I also serve as the Emergency Management Commissioner for the province, I also want to note another 
notable achievement of, of this community and its fire department, and that is to have the wisdom within regionally with your partners in, in the fire services and surrounding communities and plan regionally for emergencies, uh, catastrophes, and major events. That's uh, uh, the most efficient approach that you can possibly assume, the posture that you can assume for your community, and I applaud you for that too, Chief Wilton. That's a very wise decision into the CAO. So anyway, thanks very much for inviting me here today. I look forward to coming back up in a few moments to stick some people in the chest with some pins and to, to note their long service awards. And But before I sit down, I just want to say to the group of you who are about to receive your long service awards, um, I'm, I'm not sure if the community realizes what it means, the amount of service that you put in here individually. Um, your, your MC noted the kind of sacrifice you make during the middle of the night. Um, I know how much training you undertake and what that takes away from you, from the time that, that you have to invest for the community and you have to forfeit from your own personal time. And I'm sure your families are present. To your families, let me say thank you very much. Um, we know that if you didn't support these members, they wouldn't be able to attend here and run all the calls of service that they do for the community. So thank you very much. Let's call upon Acting Mayor of North Sandwich, Elsie McPherson. Murphy. Thanks very much, Tom. What a grand occasion this is, and isn't this weather wonderful? It's an opportunity when we can come together to celebrate this marvelous achievement, not only the achievement of this building behind us, but the achievement that's represented by the wonderful firefighters that we also honor today, particularly those who are receiving their long service pins. It's my pleasure on behalf of Council, and you've already recognized Councillor McBride and Councillor Scott who are with us today. I want to, before I go any further, tell you that Mayor Alice Fennell extends her extreme regret that she's not able to be with us today. Actually, she's, she's not able to be here because she's visiting her daughter in Rome. Her daughter lives in Rome, so don't feel too sorry for her that she's not able to be here. But although I, I know she really did, she really was uh, uh, sad at not being able to share this occasion with you today. So honored guests and all our firefighters, and I particularly like to offer greetings and thanks also to the staff who made this happen, particularly Jen, who is the smart one who sat in the shade for all the organizing, and also to our CAO on behalf of all the staff who made this happen. Chief Wilton, um, this must be a very proud day for you to see all this finally come together and uh, certainly our thanks go especially to you as well. This new fire hall represents the respect of the com that the community of North Saanich has for its volunteer firefighters and the value we place on the safety and security our fire department gives us. This is evidence by the strong support of the community in the referendum to authorize the borrowing to build this fire hall. And subsequently, it's been further demonstrated by the kind support of individual community members who have come forward to offer to provide extra features that the hall may need or may wish to have that were not included in the original borrowing. So that is just one small measure of the respect that this community has for the work that you do on behalf of all of us. So on time, on budget, 1.67 million. It's hard to believe that that uh, we made that happen. We they made that happen when you particularly when you hear the uh, some of the sums that are being bandied about for fire halls in other other municipalities. It seems like a minor miracle to me. And so I take great pride on behalf of the council to extend our sincere thanks to Chief Wilton, to the construction crew, to the firefighters, and to all the people of North Saanich who so willingly made this happen. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce William Brooks, the operations manager for Island West Coast Developments. It is with such pleasure that we're here today seeing the result of the hard work that everybody that is involved in this project has put into it. 
I remember on June 4th, 2012, where I sat in a council meeting and saw an overwhelming response from the community to approve this project. And as the general contractor, it was really nice to be brought in uh, early in the project to help make a difference and help make this project a reality. Um, I really want to say a special thank you to, obviously, the District of North Sanit and uh, in helping make this go forward with the budgeting. To be Chief Gary Wilton, who has been an absolute pleasure to work with, who has worked with us in our budgeting constraints and working through the process, and your entire team during the construction uh, and putting up with us uh, as they have an operating facility during the construction is amazing. Uh, the consultants on this project actually uh, obviously made a, a significant contribution, not only from the initial design, but going through the cost savings that made it a possibility and supporting uh, the team in making these happen. And our team at Island West Coast Development uh, who put their heart and soul into it and we are all very, very proud. challenging process and uh, like I say we're just very proud of the end result and we're thrilled to be here so thank you very much. Thank you. Well our next speaker is, uh, is a man who endeared himself to my family uh, early on in, in when we arrived in North Saanich in 1990. We lived uh, down the road on Wayne and uh, it, it became uh, known to us that uh, Gary had installed the underground sprinkler system, uh, which we couldn't figure out. And after the flooding subsided, <laughs> he, uh, he admitted he couldn't figure it out either. But, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the, the man, the motion, he's here for you today. The man we've all been waiting for, Mr. Gary Wilton. Pirate. Thank you, Tom, and I apologize for the microphone. <laughs> uh, we're just sorry, a couple of other members. I know uh, Councillor Craig Mearns just joined the club over there, so welcome. And we also have Victoria Fire Chief Jeff Lambert trying to hide in the background over there, but we see him over there. He's a North Sanitary resident as well. <laughs> Not sure which way I can stand to try to make this microphone. I guess I won't. Uh, so we'd like to. Uh, Welcome our special guests, our family members, our community business representatives, and we'd like to thank you all for sharing this special day with us. Uh, like Tina said, exactly one year ago today on the 4th of June, the council approved the project uh, to go ahead in the fire hall. Wind might, be, wind might be coming on the mic, that might help. Um, thanks, Tom. Um, we'd like to thank council and the community for the support during this process. Uh, we are very pleased to say that we are now finished with this phase of our project and it came in on budget. This was made possible by our excellent team of consultants uh, headed by architect Irvin Hugh, structural engineer Stantec, mechanical civil engineer Mike Burles of Burmec, and electrical engineer Randy Slade of Triumph Engineering. These guys stuck with us close to four years and through many changes. We are very grateful for their work. A lot of A lot of credit for keeping this project on budget was due to the general contractor and the project management team company, Island West Coast Developments of Nanaimo, headed by Mr. Greg Constable. Special thanks go to Ms. Dina Brooks and Bonnie Hunter and Mr. Gary Wilsey and Tyler Lindquist. Their hard work, determination, and pride in their trade was impressive. They assembled a team of many local contractors who were amazing. It was nice to see companies that were as interested in doing a good job as they were in making money. Knowing we were on a tight budget, many of them had cost savings suggestions and did extra work on their own time. We'd especially like to thank Mr. Thank Rob Edwards, Mike Nelms, and Randy Muir of Edwards Electric, Greg Grant Morwick of New Way Contractors, they did the brickwork, and Mike Sedgwick of GME Contracting, who did the site work. I'd like to thank staff and the volunteers for the many hours they put into the painting and finishing of the existing building and preparing for the opening today. Special thanks to the Ministry of Assistant Jennifer Proven for all her hard work, extra hard work. 
We are very proud of the new facilities and thank the community. Not only is it safer for the volunteers, it enables them to continue to provide top-notch emergency services to our residents and visitors. Please tour the facilities after the ceremony, have a snack and meet the firefighters. The view from the top of the tower is impressive. There's also a good reason my office seems bigger than the others. <laughs> Finally, when in the tower, there's a stainless steel box in the wall. It is our time capsule. It will be sealed in a week or so with photos from today and other items that will be open 25 years from today. Please give any suggestions you have to our firefighters. Also, we are having a straw poll on whether to paint the tower when funds become available. Pictures in the check sheet in the office area of the hall are available to state your, or, or check off your opinion. Once again, thank you for everybody for coming and visiting our facilities. Well, now it's time for the hall presentations. I'm going to call upon Fire Chief Jim Tweedle from the Sydney Fire Department to help us out. Uh, first of all, those of you who don't know me, I'm a man of a few words. Uh, so first of all, I think I'd like to congratulate uh, Chief Wilton, uh, members of the North Sands Fire Department, and the District of North Sands, you know, for having a vision to invest in the fire hall. You know, I think an investment in the fire hall is an investment in the community. And uh, an, an addition such as this is only going to help the, the members uh, serve the uh, members of the community. So we just got a, uh, a small token here that uh, we'd like to present perhaps to Chief Wilton. And maybe you'll find a spot that you can uh, actually put it in your fire hall. Elsie McMurphy and Chief Wilton with the big scissors. Direct your attention over here. <laughs> and, and the fire commissioner as well as the uh, commissioner general, right? Okay. She knows how to handle one of these. <laughs> just that. We're going to introduce Greg Smith, a senior firefighter, to help us, uh, as well as Elizabeth May, fire commissioner. Yep. <laughs> Gary made a noise and I stopped immediately. <laughs> Elizabeth May, fire commissioner, Chief Wilton, Elsie McMurphy, and, and once again, Greg Smith. If you could join us here.
Thank you, Tom. It is uh, my extreme pleasure today to be presenting the uh, Exemplary Services uh, Medals. These are the top awards that can be given to firefighters for long service in the, in the fire department, both career and volunteer. There's no distinction between the two. Um, today, we have, a, we have six, which says something about our department that we have this many people getting this level of, of award. We have four 20-year um, federal exemplary services medals to give out. We have one 30-year federal um, exemplary services bar. You get a bar every 10 years after you get your medal. And we have uh, one whopping 35-year uh, provincial long service bar, which represents the first 10 years after your um, provincial medal at 25 years. Um, so the total for these uh, men and women is 145 years of fire service. And in our case, this is all volunteer service. A couple of them are now career, but uh, any career staff in North Sanctuary are also still volunteers. So that's 145 years of volunteer fire service, which says it all. So um, assisting me today, we have Acting Mayor McMurphy, the Fire Commissioner, Elizabeth Mayer, our MLA, who is uh, MP, who's representing us for the federal medals, and of course, Chief Will. So in no particular order, um, I'm going to start with uh, Anna Trelford. So I'm going to say a few words and then have her up to get her medal, and we'll make that sort of the, the format today. So Anna's uh, here for a 20-year um, Federal Exemplary Services Medal. She had 10 years volunteer with Sydney, 10 years volunteer with North Saanich. She has subsequently just recently retired from us and has gone on to pursue a career with the Victoria Airport Authority as a career firefighter. Um, Anna was uh, a Firefighter of the Year 2006. She's known for her volunteer service around here. Anna's belonged to pretty much every committee that ever was. Um, as a tribute to her volunteer Ism, I guess you'd call it. Uh, even though she's retired, she comes back and teaches her first responder courses. Um, and in fact, she volunteered for to lead the uh, tidying up of our corner for the presentation today. So the reason it's as good as looking as it is is due to Anna and, and her team. So without any further ado, I, I'd like to introduce a great firefighter, dedicated volunteer, Anna. Nelson, who is also up for his 20-year Federal Exemplary Services Medal. Uh, Jim has been a captain with the North Saint Fire Department, Firefighter of the Year in 1994. Um, again, Jim is uh, known as a dedicated volunteer. He helps out with everything we do around here. He's uh, actually, this is very fitting. He was instrumental in the last couple of uh, medal ceremonies we had, uh, Chris Santa Parade, and all kinds of other things. Again. A true dedicated volunteer and a great firefighter. Jimmy, come on up.
the belt for him. Deputy Chief, um, and currently is our career fire inspector. He's been an officer almost his whole career with the department, very dedicated on the fire side. Uh, Firefighter of the Year in 1996. Um, Steve is best known for his, uh, he's probably probably the most tenacious firefighter we have here. He's, uh, he can stay in an air pack beyond all the reasonable laws of physics. Um, he will never, ever give up on a fire. <laughs> Um, I've seen it personally, and it's, it's quite a sight to behold. Um, anyways, Steve, uh, great firefighter, dedicated volunteer, solid officer. Come on up, Steve. Come on. McCumber for a 20-year Federal Exemplary Services Medal. Um, again, Sean has spent all his 20 years as a volunteer in North Saanich. Uh, he was our president for seven years of our association, Firefighter of the Year, 1995. And again, this is uh, uh, very fitting for us to have him be presented here today. Sean was the leading light in our last two settle, uh, medal ceremonies, and in fact, um, is the instigator of pretty near all of our firefighter recognition programs around here. Uh, Sean is very big on firefighter recognition, so it's very appropriate that, that he would be recognized today. Uh, he's affectionately known around the fire hall as St. Sean for his unwavering ability to always take the high road on any issue. Um, dedicated volunteer, firefighter, and the last of a dying breed, a real gentleman. Come on up, Sean. starting to get into some serious years here. It'll be Chuck Hannon, who is getting his 30-year federal bar. This is his first 10-year increment on his 20-year federal services exemplary medal. Uh, Chuck has been with North Santa Cruz for 30 of his volunteer years here. He was a captain, training officer, firefighter of the year in 1991. Um, Chuck's claim to fame around here is he's the, he's the guy that knows everything. If there's uh, any piece of equipment or pretty much anything in life that you don't understand, you go and ask Chuck and he'll explain it to you how it works in great detail. Uh, and uh, take me up on that time afterwards. You'll never, you'll never trick him. He's probably the only person in the whole fire service of BC that truly understands ropes and knots and has mentored us all the way through that difficult process. Um, dedicated volunteer, great firefighter, Chuck Hannon. Come on up. Oh, he's already lost. 
Um, just so you know, Chuck won't actually be getting the physical bar today. He just turned his 30 years in June 1st, and there's a process that has to be gone through. It's impossible to apply for these awards any time before the actual date. So we weren't actually to get, able to get the medal here in time, so I'll just get a token. provincial bar. This is his first 10-year increment on his 25-year provincial long service medal. Um, Gary has been all 35 years with North Saanich. Uh, he's been a captain, deputy, volunteer chief, and he's now our career chief. Uh, Firefighter of the Year, 1988. And I could spend the next six hours going over his accomplishments over the last 35 years. You can imagine it's a lengthy list, but instead I thought I'd just hit on one big one. Um, just maybe some appreciation from me as representing the firefighters for the, the new hall. I don't think many people have uh, any idea what it takes to get a facility like this built. There's the, this has been a multi-year process. It's been four years he's been at this. And uh, there's the political component, the friend needs analysis, uh, you know, the studies, the open houses, the referendums, then there's the actual design, tendering, contract letting, and then there's the year-long building phase, and of course, every day through this process, there's problems, and Gary's been there to handle them all the way through, and he's stick handled this thing the whole way through, so we're here today. This would have driven any normal person insane, but uh, Gary has stuck it out to the bitter end, and this is his legacy and gift to the volunteer firefighters. So I'd like to introduce that dedicated volunteer, great firefighter, and a committed fire chief, Gary Wilson. Vice President, and he's got some uh, retirement uh, presentations to make with uh, our Chief Wilton. Uh, so, uh, Scott, if you're handy. Uh, good afternoon. The definition of a volunteer is a person who performs or offers to perform a service voluntarily. I think the def definition of a volunteer, firefighter, Find on courage, honor, respect, strength, commitment, and putting family life aside to help others in need. 
The time given by an individual is priceless. After dedicating many years of service to the community, the following four people have decided to end their journey with us and retire from the North Sands Volunteer Fire Department to pursue other interests. We have a presentation for each of these people. I could have Bobby Smart come forward. He has been with us for three and a half years and now he's retiring. Bobby? Good sir, he's been with us for 11 years. membership status with us. To achieve life membership status, one must be a firefighter in good standing for a minimum of 15 years. With becoming a life member, we'll also be adding his name to our plaque honoring, honoring the life members, which is uh, in our life uh, memorial park over in the corner here with our big rock. Uh, if I could have Mr. Jim Nelson come forward, please. He's been with us 21 years. since 1998 and have given over $15,000 to our youth educational endeavors. North Sanders firefighters volunteer thousands of hours daily to a community through a variety of fundraising efforts and work to look for an applicant who has the same dedication to the community. This year's recipient has spent countless hours volunteering for peer tutoring to supporting, or sorry, for peer tutoring at Parkins Secondary School to uh, supporting our Canadian veterans. He has raised uh, money for cancer, research to the Rotary Club. He's also a commission, he's also a member of the commission for the North Sandwich Advisory Planning Committee. He'll be attending University of Victoria Faculty of Social Study, Social Sciences, and has pursued an undergraduate degree in economics. Then would like to attend law school to become a lawyer. If I could have Mr. Ryer, Brian Trelford, Come forward to receive the Well, folks, every every great fire hall needs to 
be seen from the street. People need to know what it is, know where it's, uh, where it's come from, that sort of thing. And this little park on the corner here is crying out for something. And uh, I'm going to call upon Greg Smith right now to, uh, to alleviate that problem. Greg? Yeah, sorry about this, I'm back. Uh, I'll try and be brief. Uh, two years ago, we uh, dedicated our, our corner, our life member corner memorial park. Uh, it's a way of honoring our life members. There's a rock there with a plaque on it, and all of them, like Jim Nelson, just got his today, are memorialized on there. Uh, at the time, we didn't have the funding to get the last piece of the puzzle, which was some identification. So uh, we decided to put it off and, and do it with the new fire hall. It's come to fruition. Um, as always, there's a few thank yous, so um, just a huge one. It's taken two years coming to Rosemary from the uh, Deep Cove Market, uh, who uh, raised a good part of the funds for this, for this, for the sign. Um, also to the uh, Firefighters Association, who raised the balance of the funds. Um, to the municipality, who's going to install a thing for us, even though they may not realize it yet. Um, and, uh, Last and certainly not least to uh, Anna Trelford and Linda Knapp who have done all the heavy lifting on getting the corner ready for the ceremony today. So without any further ado, I'm going to ask Elsie McMurphy to come up and help me unveil this thing. That was, uh, the carving was done by Coast Custom Carving, uh, Steve Panikoff, I don't know where he's here or not. It's done on a giant woodworking CNC machine, so it's all done by computer, if you can believe it. Um, so that'll be mounted in the corner and be there for hopefully forever, because I'm not going to do it again, that's for sure. Um, anyways, there it is. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up the ceremony today. There's lots of food. Gor uh, Gary has spent hours and hours in the kitchen <laughs> making gourmet creations under the close supervision of his wife. And uh, we encourage you to come and, uh, and, and tour the facility, ask questions, take lots of pictures. This is your facility as much as it is theirs, so please get familiar with it. And thank you for coming today.